morning to, to Scotland, good morning to Europe. Wherever you are, please welcome to the sixth International Academic Forum uh, brought to you by ARISO, uh, the Asian Research Institute for International Social Work at Shikutoku University, Japan. My name is Joseph Gohori, the Chief Researcher at uh, ARISO Shikutoku, and I will be serving as your moderator today. Today, we'll focus on international social work and globalization. Our topic is what is the international social work with the globalized states or local? Uh, for now, uh, let me invite Professor Fujimori, uh, a member of Ariso Shikutoku, uh, to share his comments on uh, Dr. Uh, Dominelli's lecture. Fujimori sensei, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hi.宿徳大学のアジア国際社会主義研究所の藤森と申します。今回は本フォーラムのお企画を立ち上げたメンバーの一人として、少し僭越ではありますが、指定コメントとして発言をさせていただきます。よろしくお願いいたします。ドミネリ
a brief reaction on uh, Professor Fujimori's uh, comment. Uh, Dr. Dominelli, in, in your conclusion, you have mentioned strengths of uh, international social work. Is, uh, is your answer to, to, to Professor Fujimori's comment uh, yes? I mean, Dr. Akimoto raised questions about the future of international social work. Uh, could you provide us with a straight and brief uh, answer to his straight and very simple questions? Will international social work continue to exist in a globalized world and also coexist together with globalized local or states or domestic social work? If yes, what will uh, be its, its roles and, and, functional, uh, and function likes? Could you, I, I mean, because uh, we have almost no time, could you share just, just a brief comment on, 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 those, uh, on, on those questions? I think there isn't a brief, sim simple answer. It's a complex, <laughs> difficult one. But my view, put simply and quickly, is that I think international social work will continue for some while yet um, because we have not solved the internationalized social problems either at the local level or at the international level. Migration is a good example of that. Climate change, poverty, pandemics. We have examples of where people have worked together and they work together really well. And then we have the opposite. Like I was just typing in the question and answers, except that I can't find how to type it because they want me to answer live. So Rofa, I am answering you live now. Um, vaccines and the unwillingness, particularly of the West to share and give freely of its technology to countries that could develop their own um, and manufacture it locally, the, the, especially the COVID. And I funded um, through my taxes, the resources and the resourcing that went into developing AstraZeneca. And it was in writing that um, the, the manufacturers would make it cheaply and easily and freely available to people in the global south. And they have yet to do that. The amount that they've actually shared is pathetic. And to me, that speaks more of ethno-nationalism ethno in um, vaccines where people are saying, uh, oh, we need to protect our nation first. Well, you've already done that in the UK, UK-wide. You know, most people have had two um, jabs. Lots of us have had the first booster. We'll probably have to have another booster. But as Gordon Brown, our former prime minister of the UK said, we have so much leftover vaccine, both in the UK, in the US and in Canada and, and other places in the West that we could vaccinate the entire world right away if we chose to. And they're choosing not to, despite promising to do that endlessly, including in the meeting of the G7. And it hasn't happened yet. And I'm sick and tired of that. So I will resist that kind of like tightening. Let's just look at our own little group here um, because that own little group here doesn't include everybody even living in the UK. Because if you're not a citizen of this country and you're not entitled to NHS services, you got to go private and pay for it. Whereas our country was founded on the idea that healthcare was a universal right a right and an entitlement, not a charity um, for everybody. So we still have a lot to do at the local level, but internationally to make what we know works in one place. It may not work in another, but vaccines, no, no borders, and neither does the disease. So therefore, we should be working collaboratively, internationally, in egalitarian um, context. So as long as those problems exist, I think those of us who are interested in collaborating with people in countries other than our own, and there are plenty of us, I would argue, then international social work will continue. But it's going to be difficult because a lot of the dominant discourses are against us at the moment. And those of us who are progressive don't have the resources, like I'm thinking of the anti-vaxxers, that have crossed the border between Canada and the U.S., and the U.S. is funding a lot of the occupation of our capital city, Ottawa, um, with truckers who do not want to be vaccinated. And I think, you know what? I don't know why you think this is an, a, an issue about 
human right. It's not because if you don't want to be vaccinated, you can give me COVID. What about my right to have a, a healthy life? So, you know, it's not easy to just sort of say, oh, well, you're forcing mandatory vaccinations on me if I want to cross the border because you have the choice of remaining in your own country if you want to. You can be a trucker in the US. People can be truckers in Canada. You don't have to cross the border. But because we know that Canada has been fairly successful so far at limiting the number of deaths and the number of cases that it has, and keeping the border closed and mandatory requirements have been part of that. The Chinese have done that too. I suspect Japan, but I don't know, but it's a hypothesis I would put forward. I think, you know, Japan has been very careful to limit after the um, princess, whatever it was, cruise ship that brought COVID en masse into the, the area and they, the Japanese state locally. It was not their problem originally. It was an international one that had begun somewhere else, um, even though there were some Japanese um, tourists on that cruise ship. But it was much more than about one single country. So yes, I think, um, Tatsuru, we'll be talking about this. And you and I have lots of ideas and agendas. So I really hope that this um, uh, discussion will lead to further collaboration between us, all of us. And I, I'm so happy to see so many different countries reflected in the participants list, because I think the more we talk to each other about our understandings and accepting the limitations of our understandings, whether it's mine from the Western world um, or yours from Japan or the Philippines or whatever other nation, we can do a lot better by talking together than if we were separated um, and dealing with it within only our own locality because of that interdependency and the interconnectedness that globalization has brought into our world. And globalization, although the term only came out in 1980, but globalization is internationalizing people and melding economies and politics and cultures together has been around for a lot longer than that. So those are my question, my answers to your four questions without going through. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much for, for giving us very, very clear answers. Thank you so much. I, I think uh, that uh, keywords such as interconnectedness or interdependence uh, well, will continue to be very important in our further discussion. So thank you very much again. And I would like to ask uh, another speaker, Dr. Asano, to share uh, his, uh, his answer to to our questions today. Asano-sensei, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. <laughs> Since we have almost <laughs> run of time, please, please be, be brief. I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Dominelli, uh, thank you so much for your insightful presentation and comments uh, you did. And I wanted to hear more about your presentation uh, as some, uh, some participants uh, put a comment on chat and um, ah, switch to Japanese. ちょっとドミネリ先生のコメントの後にコメントするっていうのはちょっと恐ろしすぎますけど何を言うんだって。で、え、4つの質問、あの、秋元先生が例示された 4つの質問は、あの、本当にチャレンジングでビッグクエスチョンなので、こう、ブリーフコメントはなかなかできないんですけれども、あの、日本の文脈で言うと、あの、ちょっと私
ももちろんそうですけど、それ以外の、えー、ヒューマニタリアンエイドワーカーの方が、えー、多いわけで、えー、その人たちと結局そのソーシャルジャスティスとかヒューマンライツっていうのは、まあ、同じことを目指しているけれども、実はもしかしたらちょっと違うかもしれない。で、えー、とドミネリ先生のプレゼンテーションでもありましたけど、グローバル化されたえー、ことっていうのは、やっぱりソーシャルワークの価値からすると、やっぱり、えー、それはどうかっていうような、えー、それがやっぱり価値なんですよね。でも,もしかしたら、えー、とそのグローバル化された、確立され,化された、えー、世界っていうのに対して、ネガティブなあの<笑>考えを持っていない、そこにあのもしかしたら差があるかもしれないので、そ,そのあたりをこう、えー、確認をしていく、えー、で結局は、えー、とソーシャルワークって何そのインターナショナルソーシャルワークの前にソーシャルワークって何っていうところに行き着くのかなというふうにあ思っていますあの答えにもなってないコメントで<笑>恐縮ですけれどもはい、えー、浅野先生どうもありがとうございました、はいえーえー、リナあ、うんえーダクター、アサナ、Thank you very much、uh, for, for your comments and for your answers. And I look forward to hearing from、uh, Kanamatsu, sen、uh, senior researcher、uh, at、uh, Ariso Shikutoku, to share her summary as a part of the roundup session. So, Kana, <clears throat> we. Yep. Okay. Please start、um. this presentation. Thanks. And I would like to ask our participants to be、uh, patient uh, since uh, we uh, have run off、uh, our time. It's、uh, already 9 9 p.m.、Uh, in, in, in Japan. So,、uh, two hours of our webinar、uh, are already left. However, please be patient and give us、uh, just 10 minutes to, to round up and、uh, to wrap up、uh, the, this session. Thank you very much. Please allow me to, to speak a few comments for a roundup session. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much.、Oh, thank you very much for, for all who are interested in our forum. ISO International Social Work Academic Forum has titled us What is the International Social Work? With the globalized state social work. It may seem unfamiliar and uncertain to ensure for audience today. So, I would like to start from the, the question what is the difference between international social work and social work conducted in globalized states? First of all, we have 602 participants are from Asia and 30,、um, 33 participants from Africa and 23 participants from Europe and four people from Oceania and three are from North America. Thank you very much for connecting us. And more than 350 people are from the Philippines. And 77 people s from Japan. It is an amazing number for our small institute. We found some facts throughout this forum.、Uh, firstly, we are definitely living in a globalized society. And fact two is there are t e n s i o n between international and local specific social work. Globalization has evoked tensions between international and local specific social work. And Global South contests the West and, and neo colonialism through social work education, theory, and practice. And I'm constantly wondering about which term would be appropriate in this social work theory international or global. Alternatively, is there another suitable term? 
So fact three is the term internationalization and globalization are often used synonym synonymously. Another tension appears is decolonization. International social work research has often focused on the decolonization of social work, the context of anti-oppressive and culturally relevant social work in the colonized history. So how about in Japan? Japanese Social Work Academy has focused on the Japanese social work, which is unconsciously indigenous social work in Japan. Social work as a profession is another dimension of discussion. Individuals involved in the social work profession also pursue international social work through the mainstream understanding of social work. However, social workers experience difficulty with establishing their identity as professionals in Japan. Also, humanitarian aid workers also have functions similar to that of social workers in the international fields. But I want to go back to, the, to our four questions. So will international social work pursued under the globalized social work and or globalized state social work? I think the answer will be yes. And social work practices were primarily conducted through existing local specific field. International social work plays a strong role in new social problems, including climate change, migration, and also some other fields. However, the tension between local and international social work will continuously increase. What will be the law of the function of international social work? Considering an example of green social work, international social work functions on the human and environment interface and transcend borders. This includes social development and humanitarian aid work. International social work may lead a dialogue between local specific professionals in the global south and global north. And I inspired uh, Professor Domino's word that interdependency and interconnections. And how about include social, uh, but still, sorry, whenever we discuss about what international social work is, it arises the question what social work itself is. There is increased in need to continuously collect evidence of international social work through worldwide professionals involved in the social work. Thank you very much tonight. And thank you very much for attending this forum. Please connect with us continuously to our small uh, institute in Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kana, for your summary. And uh, well, it's uh, time for, for the closing session. I would like to invite Professor and Reverend uh, Masatoshi Hasegawa, the Chief Advisor of uh, Ariso Shukutoku, to close our forum. Hasegawa Sensei, Yoroshiku Onegai Shimasu. Minasan, konnichiwa. Dai Rokkai no Kusai Gakjutsu Forum wo Kujiru ni atami mashite. え、司会者を代表して皆様に感謝と御礼を申し上げます。え、国内外から700名を超える多くの方々にご参加いただいて、司会者として喜びに会えます。ことに、基調講演の講師を引き受けくださったサーリング大学教授、リーナ・ドミ
、また講演諸団体におかれましても、このフォーラムの講演をいただきましたことを熱く感謝申し上げます。さて、なぜ宿徳大学の本研究所が国際に関心を寄せるのか、本学の創立者の即席を通して手短に紹介し、私のご挨拶に返させていただきます。創立者の長谷川良心は、1890年の生まれで、仏教者であると同時に、その生涯を社会事業と教育とに捧げた人物で1966年、66年に、請求しております若き日に貧民窟でのセツルメントの活動から事業を起こす一方研究者教育者としてアメリカのシカゴ大学ドイツのベルリン女子社会事業学校で社会事業社会政策を学びましたそしてそれを日本の宗教的風土の中にどのように根付かせるかを考え実践した人でありますまた晩年には日系人が精神的に混迷しておりましたブラジルに渡りまして高知で宗教社会事業教育三味一体とする開教事業を展開して今もその後継者によって事業は受け継がれて発展いたしております。その開教事業の理念の一つには、すべての寺院、教会を地域社会に奉仕する施設として再編成すべきだとして、そのためにはキリスト教などを含むすべての宗教が共同戦線を張る必要性を訴えて、えー、おりましたそして今からちょうど60年前の1962年の7月ブラジルで国際社会事業教育者会議と国際社会事業会議の2つが開催されており日本代表として出席して日本とブラジルとの架け橋としても役割を果たしておりますこうした国際的視野で宗教社会事業教育を深く考えかつ実践してきた延長線上に1965年創設されたのがこの淑徳大学でありますいささか大学の広報じみた話になりましたけれども本学の立ち位置をお伝え申し上げまして、えー、本日のお礼に返させていただきますどうぞ今後ともよろしくお願い申し上げますありがとうございました長谷川先生どうもありがとうございました、uh, Professor 長谷川、uh, Thank you very much So、uh, that's all Thank you Thank you all for joining us today We are really happy to have you all today Dr. Dominelli Dr. Asano,、uh, Dr. Akimoto, I would like to ask you to switch your camera on to show us your face.、Uh, now I, I want to, sh-、uh, to shake your hand, hands and I want to hug you. However, it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's impossible because we,、uh, this is on a webinar and、uh, it's on online. However, I hope in the near future we, we will be able to meet each other to talk、uh, together. Uh, on site. So, again, thank you very much for your insights, for your presentations, and for your lectures. That's all from Ariso Shikutoku today.、Uh, the video record of the forum and other materials will be uploaded and shared later. So, please follow our website, follow our Facebook, and stay in touch. Thank you very much again. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us today.